So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to start by graphing it here. And we're going to start with that nice y-intercept. So I'm going to plug in 0 for x. I get 2 to the 0 with this 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So we have 0, negative 2. Then let's plug in a couple other values. How about when x is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. So 1, negative 6. Cool. And then maybe what about negative 1? 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half times negative 4 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so on and so forth. Now I can also tell that since we have this plus 2 out here and this is always going to be negative, the highest this will ever get is when this gets really close to 0 when x is basically really these, these big negative numbers or really small numbers like negative 100, negative 1,000. So we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2, and you can see it's sort of approaching it here as we go to the left. And then as we go to the right, it's going to continue down forever and ever. Now, if we reflect this across the x-axis, anything on the x-axis stays as is. This one is down here, so it jumps up here. This point is down here, so it jumps up here to 6. And instead of a horizontal asymptote at 2, now it's at negative 2, so we're going to look like this. And there's the reflection. And once again, to reflect across the x-axis, you just basically multiply the entire function by negative 1. So it becomes 4 times 2 to the x minus 2. Everything gets flipped.